Can you read to me the nameplate? Judge Ebony K. Williams. So the only thing that matters in this particular courtroom is how I see it. I am from North Carolina by way of Louisiana with some West Coast cool and a New York edge. Do we have a problem, ma'am? No, I don't, Your Honor. Equal justice is all about the most important values of our country, freedom, integrity, and those are the things that I'm striving for. Ma'am, you run your household. This man gets to run his. I decided to become an attorney and pursue the law. I wanted to be a voice for the voiceless. This court can not hold this woman accountable. People from all sectors of life, black, white, purple, gay, straight, queer, and that's what Equal Justice with Judge Ebony K. Williams is all about. Nicole Jennings claims her friend played her by asking for extra invites to her wedding, but stuck her with six empty seats. Asia Franklin says her group was a no-show after learning Miss Jennings dissed her on social media. Ladies, I see I've got Nicole Jennings here as yes, my plaintiff. Yes, ma'am. Asia Franklin as yes, my defendant. Miss Jennings, you are suing Miss Franklin for $360. Tell us why we're in court today, ma'am. We're in court today, Your Honor, because my college best friend decided to beg me for four additional seats, technically five, mm. to my wedding, my very small private wedding. Mm -hmm. um, and I accommodated her by actually adding another four people table setting for her to come, and then she just ghosted me and didn't show up at all. Wow, so you're telling me that this young lady, your college best friend of many, many years, I assume, did not even show up at your most important day of your life. Yes, ma'am. Wow. Am. Did the wedding happen? Yes. Congratulations. I, thank you. Okay, <laughs> let's 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 get that on the table. Uh, I, I can't believe that's true, Miss Franklin. Tell me it's not so. Yes, Your Honor, it is so. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, tell me why. Due to the nasty social media posts mm. she posted about me in a blog, one of our mutual friends showed me that. Um, she had a bridesmaid mm -mm. that was very nasty and rude, mm -mm. treating me like the help. Mm -mm. Oh, no. And me and her go no. way back. And she didn't no. invite me to be a bridesmaid, Your Honor. And she was a bridesmaid <sighs> at my wedding. Your Honor. Well, I see that ring is, is ringing, by the way. I, I can barely you. pay attention to what well, you're I mean, talking about, Madam Plain. You know, thank <laughs> yeah. you. You okay. know, he, he, go big or go home. The, yeah, wh whoever yeah. went, went. Uh, all the way. Yes, it's, we did. it's fantastic. Okay, so you mentioned some evidence, Ms. Franklin. Go ahead and offer that up to my bailiff here so I can see a bit yes, of sure what you are alleging. Can I just say that I did not make a, a social media blog post? So, you know how social media has message groups, support groups? I was, it, prior to my wedding, planning mm -hmm. my wedding, I joined a message group. Mm -hmm. um, and it's basically for that purpose. It's basically to go in there and vent and that post is only intended for people that belong to that social media group. So this is supposed group. to be private? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so just so everybody knows what we're talking about, I'm looking at uh, a post from Miss Jennings here, the, the bride. Let freedom ring for all the brides being guilted into adding people to the wedding party and inviting their family. So over it. Honeymoon countdown. Well then. That tell, doesn't tell, sound like an uh, invitation. Tell us how you really feel, ma'am. So... That was after I called the caterer and extended it for four people. So you did it and was mad about it? I was frustrated. Um, our, my husband now and mm -hmm. her former husband were best friends in college. Former husband, okay. Her former husband. Her, okay. So, so the four of y'all were all close. Yes, ma'am. And then it sounds like y'all got married? You and your, the, the, her then, and Ralph got married. You and Ralph got married. Yes, Your Honor. And that did not work out long term because mm -hmm. obviously you and Ralph are divorced today. Yes, Your Honor. Because she was cheating. Okay, well that's not my business nor yours. That is Ms. not Jennings. true. Don't go by what you hear on the streets, okay. baby girl. Okay, so you and Mr. Ralph are divorced, and what does that do to the friendship you have with Miss Jennings? She took his side, Your Honor. Well, you know what? I'm going to stop y'all. Because, unfortunately, this is the kind of casualty situation we have when everybody's friends together and then divorce happens. Uh, the, the friendships become casualties of the divorce agreements half the time. They're not negotiated in the way we do a house or a car necessarily, but people definitely form alliances and, and you really find out who your friends are in a divorce. Yes, so, sure. after that, you're saying that she chose your ex-husband's side. That's what, that's what you're saying. And what did that do to y'all's friendship? 
it destroyed it. Okay, so I, then if it was destroyed, though, Miss Miss Franklin, you can't have it both ways. Why then do you expect to be a, a bridesmaid? Because we've been close for years, Your Honor, and I just needed her for closure. During the divorce, she didn't even call to check on me, send a text message, okay. anything call. Okay. Let's go to brunch. And that's not good, but however, once it's her moment, and she's the bride to be. We can't keep centering ourselves, Miss Franklin. Not if this is the friend you say she is. Okay. So, so go ahead. Let me just say that she had a wedding ten years ago, huge wedding. Mm -hmm. I was her her maid of honor in her wedding. Okay. I did everything for her. I didn't complain well, that's what about a, that's it. What, well, you want to cook? I just did. That's everything. what you're supposed to do. Coming up on Equal Justice. When she told me her feelings were hurt because I didn't ask her to be in the wedding, I told her she could be an usher. She could oh, just no, host no, people. No, 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 I no. mean, that's... No, no, no ma'am. No, ma no, ma no, ma no, ma and later... As the night kept escalating, she started shoving me towards uh, the door to kind of leave. That and is not true. She, she was throwing my stuff around, saying I had to go grab it, but she was throwing it one way, and then I was headed the other way. If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6870. This is Equal Justice. Equal Justice is back with the case of Nicole Jennings, who blames her ex-friend Asia Franklin for wasted wedding RSVPs. Both of you have admitted that the friendship is not what it used to be. Well, See, no, 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 you got to listen now. See, that's what's wrong with a lot of us today. We evaluate modern, real-time relationships that are happening today based off of what it was five years ago, 20 years ago, 10 years ago. See, we've got to stop retroactively assessing relationships and press fast forward to real time. So you cannot expect behavior, Miss Jennings, from Miss Franklin that would have made sense 10 years ago when 10 years ago, y'all's friendship was much closer. So now you've got to hold her to a standard that applies for today. So I understand that, Your Honor, and that is why I didn't invite her to be in my wedding. My sister was my okay. maid of honor. Okay, then. My work best friend was my bridesmaid. Mm -hmm. When she told me her feelings were hurt because I didn't ask her to be in the wedding, I told her she could be an usher. She could oh, just no. host no, people. No, 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 no. I no. mean, that's no, no, no ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am, Miss Jennings, Miss Jennings. No, ma'am. That is pure shade. No, okay? ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, it is. It is my court rule when I say what shade is and isn't in here today. Don't make me check the coats. Mm -mm. Just don't, at that point, ma'am, well, don't worry about she it. She shouldn't have told me she would do it. Ma'am, I'm not going to, I'm not going to go back and forth with you in the courtroom. Now, you have to listen. Otherwise, you're going to be in the same situation again. So, y'all are not close anymore, but she was still invited to the wedding, right? At, at a bare minimum, she made the guest list. And I told her that she could bring her new boo. Okay, so you gave her one plus one. Even though Gerald was there in the wedding. The ex-husband? Yes. So everybody in the wedding but me. Still. Okay, okay. So, so this part, we're not going to do. Y'all both, I can tell, loved each other a lot at one point. I think you still both love each other today. I do love I, her. I, yeah, I, I know. And she loved you, too, with her mean mug and self. She do. She do. But she's hurt. And I'm sure you're hurt. So, Absolutely. unfortunately, this is not a therapy session, though, so I'm not going to be providing everything that you both need to restore this friendship. But I hope y'all will do that work. I really do. But what I am going to determine today is the fiscal nature of this claim. So, you give her a plus one and a wedding invitation. You accept it, right? You RSVP? Yes, yes Your Honor. Me and Nubu are coming. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. So, at what point, ma'am, did you decide you... Well, let's back it up. Hold on. At what point do you ask this woman for additional guests? The day of the wedding. Ooh, what? The day of the wedding? <laughs> you, you asked for three, three plus ones the day of the wedding, ma'am? Four. Four. Okay. Four. Hold on, hold on. Why, when, and how? My parents. They know Nicole, they've been knowing Nicole you since we were in college, and they were pressing me, Your Honor, about getting into this wedding. Not even just her parents, but her sister and his and her husband. Okay, so, so her now, but now, but now you look crazy, right? You know that you look crazy. And now tell me why. Because I'm over here trying to support my friend. No, that's not why. That's not supporting your friend. I think that's your guilt. I think that's your guilt showing. I think that's you feeling a way that the relationship, probably because of mutual fault, has deteriorated so bad that y'all are really both lying to each other. 
You're lying with your expectations. Uh, I, th I don't think it was about your parents and your sister and your brother. No, you wanted to see just how far she would go to accommodate you after you were clearly not prioritized in this wedding party. So you were manipulating your position. And you, ma'am, were also being guilt tripped and you were trying to accommodate unreasonable requests. I mean, with a clear mind, ma'am, same day? Please, that's you trying to ease your conscience for probably things you didn't do to restore the friendship. So I can see this plain. I said I wasn't gonna be a therapist, but here I am. <laughs> here I am, therapy session. Okay, so let's get to the money, ma'am. You're suing her for $360, why? $60 per person for six people. Okay, so including herself. Mm -hmm. uh, now I wanna know, you said you didn't go because you saw the... Um, That's the, not the only reason, Your Honor. Okay, go ahead and tell me the other reason before I make my ruling. The bridesmaid that she had was being very rude, mm -hmm. and um, I just felt uninvited at so that So this point. was at the bachelorette party, correct? Yes. And what, what did she say to you, ma'am? She was treating me like a maid, like I'm a slave or something. Pick this up, do this, do that. Just having a little nasty attitude, mm -hmm. and I'm like, Nicole, get your free. And what like, did you, is, okay, first of all, did you observe, let's just say she's exaggerating because people do that in court, mm -hmm. but is any of it true? D did, did you have a bridesmaid, ma'am, or maid of honor, rather, that was disrespectful to this woman? Well, my maid of honor was my sister, and her and my sister have history. They, we were all friends. They have had beef in the past. Was your sister jealous of the relationship you had with this woman, ma'am? Just tell the truth. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, so your sister felt a way that you would not... Listen, every, every issue y'all are talking about, I have lived... I've lived it. But I digress. I'm here to talk about this $360. I just want my money. The court has ruled that you're not getting it, ma'am. I'm just playing with you. You are. Uh, the court is actually ruling in favor of the plaintiff. Here's why. Your request, ma'am, Ms. Franklin, for six additional seats on the same day of the wedding was not genuine. I don't believe. I believe you were trying to uh, see just how far she would go to accommodate you so that then you can play in her face and hurt her the way she has hurt you. I will not have it. The court rules in favor of the plaintiff for the full ruling, $360. Judge Ebony has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant is ordered to pay $360. Any final thoughts for each other? Let freedom ring. There got oh. your lunch money. Oh. All right, ladies. Judge has made a ruling. Please follow me. You'll grab your belongings. Coming up on Equal Justice. I am just asking him to move in with me. I wasn't even getting to marriage. I mean, obviously that's where I would like it to go, mm -hmm. but he's been dragging his feet on a lot of these things. So I was just talking about moving in. This is Equal Justice. Ricky Edwards claims his girlfriend got drunk and pushed him, causing his glasses and phone to break. Amber Gilbert says she ushered Mr. Edwards to the door, but he tripped and caused the damage himself. Good day. I see Ricky Edwards here as my plaintiff, Amber Gilbert as my defendant. Mr. Edwards, you are suing the defendant for $1,500. What brings you to court today? Uh, so about three years ago, uh, I've been dating her on and off, and over the past year, we've been talking a little bit more serious, but I'm not really ready for that, and she's been kind of pushing more uh, aggressively, more uh, a little out of my boundaries, essentially, and yeah. I've let her know a couple of times that I'm personally not ready for it yet. I have a lot of growth to do still. She's older than me by five years, so she's probably a little bit more ahead than I am, but I have some financial adjustment to do, spiritual growth, all this other stuff that I have to still get right with myself. Hmm. And personally, uh, our last conversation, she uh, tried to really push more for us to continue with that, with that conversation when I already told her that I wasn't personally ready for that yet. And we had a couple drinks. I had roughly two or three. Mm -hmm. She had about five or six, and she was pounding them away too. She kept going at it. So as we were escalating, or as the night kept escalating, she started shoving me towards uh, the door to kind of leave. That and is not true. She, she was throwing my stuff around, saying I had to go grab it, but she was throwing it one way, and then I was headed the other way, and then she was really just not letting me get my bearings, essentially. Hmm. She started shoving me towards the door. I was already headed out the so door. So this is in her apartment? Yeah, uh, it's her house, yes. Her house, okay, excuse yeah. me, go ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, once I'm pushed out the home, I trip and fall, my phone breaks, my glasses break, and 
I just grab my, the rest of my keys. I simply just take the, take the loss for the night. Coming up on Equal Justice. I slammed the door in his face, so he's- did it, But did it, did it make contact, ma'am? Uh, I don't know. I slammed Wait, the wait, was that a no, or was that a I don't know? <laughs> it I was a no. This is Equal Justice. Equal Justice is back with a dispute between Ricky Edwards and his ex-girlfriend Amber Gilbert over broken glasses and a phone. You talked a lot about being pushed in a certain direction around the relationship. It was going too fast and you're five years younger. You need to get yourself together. But you never said what direction? You talk about marriage? Yeah, yeah, she wants okay, to Okay, you know that. you never said the word. I'm sorry, I, I apologize. Elijah, did you hear it? <laughs> did not hear the word, that's a telltale sign. Hear it. It's a telltale sign. I was letting him go on and on, and I said, <laughs> I guess he's gonna get to it at some point, but so you never got to it. Yeah. Okay, Ms. Gilbert, um, <laughs> your ex-boyfriend here has laid out a lot of facts here. He's saying that you are responsible for these damaged glasses, and he's saying you're responsible for uh, his broken cell phone. And what do you have to say about this? The first thing I want to say is that I never shoved him out the door. Okay. I never even touched him. The way that our fight sort of like started was that I am just asking him to move in with me. I wasn't mm. even getting to marriage. I mean, obviously that's where I would like it to go, mm -hmm. but he's been dragging his feet on a lot of these things. So I was just talking about moving in. Okay. And he always has these excuses as to why he can't, like saying that he needs space when he has two roommates, saying he has more growing that he needs to do when he's 30. So just like a lot of excuses. And we were sitting down at my house having drinks. You own this house? Yes, I own the house. And I'm telling him to leave. And he's very slowly kind of gathering his belongings. And I, I gestured. I was like, you need to go. I put, I like did a motion, mm -hmm. like gesturing Like let's get on go. with it. But I did not actually touch him. Mm -hmm. And then by the time he got to the door, I slammed the door in his face. So he's- did it, But did it? Did it make contact, ma'am? Uh, I don't know. I slammed Wait, the wait, was that a no or was that a I don't know? <laughs> it I was a no. Judge Ebony's verdict when Equal Justice returns. This is Equal Justice. Once okay. he got to the other side of the mm -hmm. door, I just closed it. So I did not even see him fall, and mm -hmm. I didn't know that he had fallen until I checked my ring camera footage later. Okay, and you have that footage for the court yes, today? I okay, do. so let's see this, this ring camera footage. Mm. Okay, I see the, the, we see the glasses oh. flying. He's stumbling, looking rather defeated. Walk into the car. That's you walking to your car, sir? Yes, ma'am, Your Honor. You have submitted the court an invoice of these glasses to the cost of $800. You've also invoiced, uh, submitted an invoice, sir, for my, your phone, $700. You add those two together, that's where you get the $1,500 for. Uh, and, and, and I saw the video, and to, to me, sir, it looked like there was no contact with this woman nor the door. Looks like you tripped and, and, and fell, but even if you hadn't, uh, at this point, the court is going to rule to dismiss your claim entirely. So your case is dismissed. That's my ruling. Judge Ebony has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's case is dismissed. I'm, I'm very happy with the way that the judge ruled because when you play and act like a child, you get consequences. Sir? Uh, ultimately, I do think that we both learn from the situation. We both can grow from it, and ultimately, I think it's best that we just go on separate ways. This has been a production of Allen Media Group.